going to start a new series on the channel to hopefully address the three most common questions I get asked. What does the load board look like? How do I book loads? And when I do book those loads, how do I stay so local? These are the relay rates for Saturday, September 9th, 2023. First thing I like to check out is what I consider to be my local San Diego load board. This is my greatest chance of staying in town because it's 53 miles to Vista, 106 miles round trip, so 107 miles covers everything. Next, I like to be sure that I'm looking at one ways and round trips. I intentionally take out blocks from this because if blocks are in there, you cannot sort it by price per distance highest. Now what I'm not showing is, is these same 40 loads have been on the load board for about the last five hours. I was keeping an eye on these the whole time I was watching Alabama lose to Texas. With a fresh drive clock, the question becomes how many of these can I do running that short haul exemption and get done in 12 hours? And in case you're wondering, these are all empty trailers heading up north. So with ample loads to choose from, the next thing I have to start thinking about is what do my backhauls look like coming back? For this, I have another save search which searches for loads within 50 miles of Paris and returning to within 75 miles of San Diego. With no matches there, the next thing I want to look at is what does the local work look like up in Paris. For this, I have another save search which looks at the same 50 miles picking up around Paris, but then traveling no further than 100 miles from Paris. And with no results there, the last thing I want to do is look at every single load coming out of Otai. I'll typically sort these by furthest distance first, just to see what they're paying to see if anything piques my interest. Once those searches have been exhausted, the last thing for me to do is to head over to my email and check out any recent spot capacity. So if I choose to work tonight, I can be guaranteed $5 a mile up to Paris, but there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be deadheading home between each trip. Now some might average that out and say, you know, if you factor in your deadhead miles, you're only making $2.50 a mile, and you're not wrong. However, when you figure in the load is an empty trailer and the deadhead miles are actually bobtail miles, well, I know you can get that trip done in 20 gallons of fuel. So if there were any decent backhauls, would I book something right now? Of course I would. But I also know that waiting for that perfect setup, that perfect setup may never come. So if I do end up booking something, be sure and stay tuned because I'll sure make a video about it on the vlog side of this channel.